Mr. Smith with the JasmineBrand.com. How you doing? I'm good. How I'm here you? with Miss I Remember, mm -hmm. the way you used to love me. <laughs> Man, you are featured on the first episode of Being This Season. How did that feel when they came to you and found out, like, I want to tell your story. I felt special. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was actually really excited because, um, I mean, even though I, I have a memoir, but, you know, everybody hasn't had a chance to read my memoir. So I'm like, you know, maybe some of those who haven't will get a little taste of my life story by way of this. So, you know, that's always a good, a good thing. You're really gifted. You got music, you got uh, shows you're producing. What, what can we see next from you? I, I think you got something going on with Karen Clark Shear. You're going to be doing some gospel. Yeah, Karen is actually on a song on my new album, and I'm on a song on her new album as well. I like that. Um, and I just did, like, several songs on Keisha Cole's new album that I did some vocal production and arrangements and stuff and backgrounds. And um, I'm about to work on Tevin Campbell's new project. He's um, been reaching out to me for a minute, so we finally... That's going to be hot. Yeah, I actually just started, we just wrote a really hot song that Nikki Gilbert recorded, so I'm trying to like convince her that, you know, she needs to just go ahead and well, I feel like you make it, album. I feel like I have you sing a little bit in my ear, but I ain't going to make you do it. But of course, so, my um, my album, Incomparable, it'll be out October 28th, and my new single, I Deserve It, um, with Missy and Sherea J, that's streaming now to be on iTunes August 26th. What do you think about the state of, of, of hip-hop and music right now, you know, from like, what do you feel about like where it's going? I mean, I think it's it's always going. Whichever way it is going, it's always going. It's going somewhere, right? I mean, you know, I don't really, I feel like there's always, there's always a way that someone wants to express their creativity. So, I mean, I'm not really one to judge people's way of expressing their creativity. You know, as long that. as there's people out there that enjoy it, then, you know, who am I to be like, it's not good or, you know. People have the right to like what they like. You I know understand. what I'm saying? Speaking about ways of enjoying, how do you pamper? What's a, what's one of your guilty pleasures? How do you pamper yourself? When oh you say, gosh. well, shoes, purses. Yeah, I, I'm definitely a shoe addict, but um, I have to curb myself sometimes. I think if anything, I get like facials and massages and stuff. My my like beauty services, like I'm very much into that stuff. Like I really be on point. Like, like yo, flawless right now. To my, you know, I gotta keep my appointments every six weeks and you know everything from waxing to electrolysis to, you know, all of that stuff that ladies got to worry about and things like that. <laughs> Here's my last question for you. When was the last time you were genuinely shocked by something, whether it was good or bad? Oh, wow. Actually, I think when I heard about the Grammy nomination for the R&B Divas album, because I certainly wasn't expecting it. So, yeah, that was definitely like, wow. One of my fans hit me on Twitter, like, congratulations. And I was like, on what? <laughs> and it was like, you got nominated for a Grammy. I said, get the hell out of here. That's but, yeah. Dope. I mean, I was really surprised, but it was really nice just to be, um, you know, for an album that was really so, such a small budgeted project that didn't really get a whole, whole bunch of, uh, you know what I mean? But yeah, people, it, my peers was, uh, acknowledged it, so that's that's a good thing. That's what's up? Well, thank you so much for talking to us here at thejazzandbrand.com. We appreciate you. Thank and you. congratulations. Thank you again. Thank I you. like your show. Thank